Hi there, it's Pastor Ed with another story for you today. And the title, the title of today's story is The Sniffles for Bear, written by Bonnie Becker, and it's illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. Bear was sick, very, very sick. His eyes were red, his snout was red. His throat was sore and gruffly. In fact, Bear was quite sure no one had ever been as sick as he. One morning, Bear heard a tap, 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 tapping on his front door. Come in, he rasped. Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed, bustled into Bear's living room. Bear huddled in his chair, big and brown, and sniffly snouted. He had a terrible cold. I am come, declared Mouse. Soon you'll be good as new. Bear frowned. Mouse was much too cheerful. I'm quite ill, Bear reminded him. Indeed said Mouse. I have just the thing. Mouse rifled through his bag, then settled next to Bear with a yellow book in his paw. It was spring, Mouse read. The sky was blue. The sun was happy. All the birds were singing. Stop, growled Bear. I fear you do not appreciate the gravity of my situation. Mouse looked sad, but his tail didn't. In fact, I may not be long for this world, Bear huffed. Oh my, said Mouse said. Yes, Bear murmured, coughing pitifully. I go grow weaker by the moment. Ah, I have just the thing, Mouse announced. I shall soothe you with a song. Oh! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming. Disgraceful, barked Bear. Don't you like singing? asked Mouse. When someone is dreadfully ill, you sing mournful songs. Everyone knows that, growled Bear. He blew his nose with a honk. I have just the thing, said Mouse. He rifled through his bag, plunk, plink, plunkety, twang, twing, plunk. Mouse strummed heartily on a tiny banjo. That isn't mournful at all, cried Bear. It gets sad later, Mouse promised. Twing, twang, plunk. This is impossible, intolerable, Bear started to roar, but he was just too weak. Look, Bear wheezed, look at how my paw is trembling. You must help me to my bed. And indeed, Mouse was most helpful. He tucked Bear in, then whisked out the bedroom door. He returned balancing a big bowl of soup on his head. Nettle soup, Mouse said. I made it myself. Bear sipped cautiously. It was hot and tasted a bit like spinach and straw. Bear rather liked it. Bear's eyes began to close. Better? inquired Mouse. Bear's eyes snapped open. Certainly not. I think I should make a will. Ah, I have just the thing, said Mouse, fetching a pencil and a little notebook from his bag. He perched next to Bear, his pencil poised to write. Bear gazed thoughtfully at the ceiling. I, Bear, he said, leave my red roller skates to... Bear paused. Mouse leaned forward eagerly. eagerly. To Mouse, announced Bear. Hooray, said Mouse. Bear frowned. You needn't be so happy about it. I also leave my mop to Mouse, he added quickly. Mouse didn't look as interested in that. And my wash bucket, added Bear. At last, 
Mouse seemed to understand the gravity of the situation. Anything else? asked Mouse. I'm too weak to go on, said Bear. Perhaps I could just add your tea kettle, said Mouse helpfully. Have you no decency? bellowed Bear, sitting bolt upright in bed. Your strength has returned, Mouse exclaimed. No, it hasn't, said Bear, falling back. That was just the last flicker before the dark. I see, Mouse folded his paws and looked very sad, even his tail. Bear's voice dropped to a whisper. Farewell, Mouse. Goodbye, Bear, murmured Mouse. Bear closed his eyes. He lay very still. He began to snore. After a long while, Bear opened his eyes. He saw Mouse. I feel better, Bear said. Mouse nodded, but he didn't look so good. His eyes were watery, and he made sniffling sounds. Perhaps you better lie down, said Bear, getting out of bed. Mouse didn't argue. Do you want to make a will? Bear asked. Mouse shook his head. Bear carefully tucked him in. I'm sorry you're sick, said Bear. Thank you, Bear, Mouse sniffled. And after a moment, he added, That was just the thing. Bear smiled. Mouse closed his eyes and was soon snug asleep. <clears throat> what a great story for this time as we go through this um, time of staying with each other in our houses and some people are getting sick and others aren't. We need to make sure we're taking care of each other, just like me and my buddy Mouse here. You see, yeah, this is my friend Mouse. Is This is Melvin the Mouse. He's a pretty nice guy here, and he loves stories just like you do. So I want you to know that, that Pastor Ed and, and Melvin the Mouse love you. We think about you. We care for you. And we're going to be here to read you stories. And remember, Jesus loves you too. So you can always count on him. Until next time, bye-bye.